What's up guys? Today I'm going to show you the three ways that I rig up when I'm sheep's head fishing. Do me a favor and hit the like button if you got any value out of this video. Make sure to subscribe for more content like this. So the first one, it's a Carolina, so it comes down here to a swivel with a bead to protect that knot and then a weight. What weight you use will depend on the current on this one. Um, you can go with the bigger one. Uh, obviously the heavier weight, the faster the current, and the heavier weight, the harder it is to feel that bite. These sheep's head, they bite real, real light, so you want the lightest weight possible. Here's another one. This one's a sweeper jig, one type, with the um, loose hook here. Uh, they also have ones, this isn't it, but they have ones um, similar to this where they sit like that and then the crab or whatever will sit there. Uh, this isn't it, obviously, but these ones, they say with the bait presentation, it's better because uh, the hook is loose, so you have a little better action on the crab or whatever you have on there. Um, then this one, just the hook, ran up with the split shot. You can just put that on, adjust the depth, add more or less, you know, have how big based on the current. So whichever one of these, this one's obviously for a lower current situation. Um, and then I find that these ones work better when... Um, the current's moving a lot faster. I'll tie mono onto this and have that rigged up to my braid. I do longer, maybe six, seven foot, just because they are down by the structure. Um, yeah, that's pretty much of it. Do me a favor, if that video helped you, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, please comment below if there's any other videos you would like to see or if different rigs you have used have worked. I know the double dropper rig, single dropper rig works. Uh, there's a few different options out there. Uh, please let me know what works well for you and make sure to like and subscribe. Till next time.